Welcome to the Microfinance Podcast. Listen to inspiring interviews and take a look at the tools and products that are used in the field. The Microfinance Podcast is produced by Microsafe, market-led solutions for financial services, and is brought to you by Moving Planet Films. The important thing to keep in mind about staff incentives is that one usually needs a mix of different schemes. On the one hand, there are short-term incentives versus long-term incentives, and on the other hand, there are monetary incentives versus non-monetary incentives. Usually, one will pick a combination of those types of incentives. Experience shows that short-term monetary incentive schemes can have a huge positive impact on productivity in operations and on keeping the uh, loan portfolio quality up at a very high standard. The most commonly used incentive schemes in lending operations provide incentives on the one hand for dispersing small loans to build up a portfolio that way and at the same time they provide an, a disincentive for incurring arrears or bad loans for the uh, organization. Of course, one can imagine that it's easy to grant loans and to do well on the granting loans indicator and that it is much more difficult to make sure that the loans are, are uh, given to the right kinds of people who will um, pay back well. And that's why those two variables are usually combined in an overall formula that gives a benefit to those who grant many loans and at the same time uh, also favors those loan officers who have a very low portfolio at risk. These schemes are usually in most cases done on a monthly basis because paying out uh, every half year or every year or so would not really tell the loan officer that there's any link between their short-term performance and how much they actually make. One important thing to keep in mind is that uh, uh, these kinds of monetary incentive schemes are used widely on almost all continents except in Asia. A good guideline for constructing monetary incentive schemes is to keep them simple. In other words, one should not include too many variables in the bonus formula that uh, is used in order to provide incentives for the loan officers. Typically, uh, in terms of overall indicators that are important to the organization, we need to look at the portfolio volume, which is very much a driver of profitability. And at the same time, we need to look at um, the, the quality or lack of quality of the outstanding loan portfolio. These two elements, namely the outstanding portfolio volume by loan officer and also the portfolio at risk by loan officers, are elements that are included in practically every single incentive scheme that I am aware of. Of course, one can then add other incentive variables, such as, for instance, the number of loans granted if one has a special interest in granting very, very small loans, which is typically uh, one of the goals that MFIs um, have as overall institutional goals. So these variables are then combined in, in a very simple formula that uh, the loan officers know before they actually start their lending operations. And then, then they also know that they will be paid according to this formula. As I said before, I think one needs to keep those things very simple so loan officers understand them. And at the same time, of course, loan officers always receive a certain base salary that makes up the basis of their remuneration from the organization. The incentive scheme comes on top of that. There are several reasons why developing an incentive scheme can be more difficult uh, than initially hoped or in other words why incentive schemes can fail. One major reason is uh, that they aren't simple enough. In other words, um, those who designed the scheme kept adding more and more variables to the scheme until the scheme itself became so complex that one needs a PhD in mathematics to understand it. That I would uh, immediately characterize as a bad incentive scheme. Loan officers must be able to understand which formulas are behind the scheme and what is it that, that they need to maximize in order to uh, maximize their bonus. So that's one major area of uh, problems. Another reason why incentive schemes may not work in practice is that they were not sold properly to staff, that staff members felt overpowered by the changes uh, that came with an incentive scheme, maybe that the incentive scheme ex itself has changed over time and uh, too many changes are usually not good. 
So these are implementation uh, problems that can happen and uh, that calls usually for very careful not only design of the incentive scheme but also for selling it to the staff. One needs to be able to sit down with staff and uh, explain what the variables are and if possible actually include some staff members in the design of the scheme. That will then have a very uh, beneficial effect on later on finding acceptance uh, for the scheme in the organization. It is very important to keep in mind that monetary incentives are only one form of incentives. Those who work in microfinance derive their motivation from a big number of different factors. There is, for instance, intrinsic motivation, which is just the fun and the joy of doing something useful or working in your own community and being identified as somebody who is helping other people with, in this case, financial services, affordable financial services. There is, of course, also incentives that have to do with building one's career, with promotions that one may get after a while. I have seen very often that loan officers strive really hard to become promoted at, so at some point to the level of branch manager or lending supervisor. There are, of course, fringe benefits that one gets from an organization, such as insurance or uh, the use of a vehicle or those kinds of things. So there are all sorts of things that motivate staff members that have nothing to do with, with ca monetary cash incentives. And then in addition we have those cash incentives and we have found that those can be very useful in situations where an organization puts a lot of emphasis on the productivity of its lending operations and also on the quality of its loan portfolio. And if those are the things that you're striving for, then you would be well advised to think of uh, using an, a monetary incentive scheme uh, that would uh, focus on the uh, short-term productivity of the loan officers and also on the quality of their work, in other words, on the portfolio at risk of each loan officer's loan portfolio.